Uh, welcome back to Transcended as usual. Uh, in today's discussion, I want us to look at um, irrational numbers. So, how do we tend to prove um, irrational numbers? So, I have got an interesting question here that I want us to solve today uh, together. The question is saying, given that root 2 is irrational number, prove that 1 plus root 2 divided by 2 is also irrational. <coughs> Such kind of questions are very easy and very straightforward for the fact that you have been told that root 2 is already irrational. So you are just proving that 1 plus root 2 over 2 is also irrational. So it's a matter of proving using what we call contradiction method. Okay? Because it's practically impossible for us to prove irrational using the normal formula, but we use what we call contradiction, where we are going to assume that what we have been given is rational. Because we know what rational is. Okay? So we, we prove using rational, because we know that rational is a number that can be expressed in the form of a over b, where b is not equal to zero. Yeah, and then a and b are integers, but they've got no common factors. At that, we know it. Okay? So, we are going to assume now that what we have been given is rational. But we know that we want to prove that it is irrational. But we are going to assume that it is irrational. Then we are going to see what is going to happen. So, the first point is, how do we answer it? The first point is, assume, assume that 1 plus root 2 divided by 2 is rational. So if it is rational, then it can be expressed in form of a over b, where b is not equal to 0. Then again, I can say where b is not equal to 0, then a a and B should be integers. Are integers and have no common factors. What I have written here is the statement for rational numbers. A rational number is a number that can be expressed in a form of a over b, or maybe you can use p over q. So a over b, where b should not be equal to 0, a and b are integers and have got no common factors. A very good example of rational number is 2 over 3. There is no number that can go into 2 and 3, except 1, of course, so we don't consider 1. Okay, so b, in, in this case a is 2, b is 3. And b should never be equal to 0. And of course, 3 is not equal to 0. Then a and b are integers. So now, this can either be negative 2 over 3. This is also a rational number. Sorry, this is a rational number. So now we are assuming that what we have been given, so we prove by what we call contradiction, we are assuming that 1 plus 2 root 2 over 2 is rational. Then it can be expressed in the form of a over b, where b, so here you can put where, on top here where b is not equal to 0, a and b are integers and have no common factors. And that's what we can see here. After now assuming that this guy is rational, the next statement that you have to write, I'll use now the next bold, is you say the same thing 1 plus root 2 divided by 2, since we have assumed that this is rational number, we are going to equate it equal to a over b. For the fact that we know that a over b is rational. So we are going to equate it equal to each other because we are assuming that what we have here is rational. Now when you reach at this point, you have to make root 2 as a subject of the formula. Because you already know that root 2 is irrational. So you are making now root 2 as a subject of the formula. Once you make that as a subject of the formula, you are going to look at the right hand side. If at all you have got anything that has got common factors, then that is irrational. If it doesn't have common factors, then it is rational. So you definitely know that rational 
cannot be equal to irrational. So at that point, we're going to prove that then this is irrational. You get my point? So what I mean here is, I'm going now to cross multiply. That becomes b times 1 is b. b times root of 2 is, is this. Should be equal to 2a. Our goal is to make root 2 as a subject of the formula. Shift b to the other side. That becomes b root 2 is equal to 2a minus b. Divide both sides by b. Divide both sides by b. So these can go. Therefore, root 2 is equal to 2a minus b divided by b. When you look at this now, guys, let's be genuine here. We already know, the question has, we, we have been told that already we, only, we know that root 2 is irrational. Okay? So we already know that this guy is irrational. Now we look at the right side. We have got 2a minus b divided by b. On top there, unless if I had 2, if I had maybe uh, 2b minus b divided by b. Maybe in this case I would have said the common factor is b because b can go into 2b and also in b. But in this case we have got 2a. b cannot go into 2a. Quite okay it can go into b. Meaning that at this point I have got no common factor. If I have got no common factor, the right side here, it is rational. Okay? So after, after this point now, what you are going to, to write is... 2a minus b divided by um, divided by b has no common factor. Has no common factor. Okay, so if it has got no common factors, then this tells us. So we say, which tells us, which tells us that. It is rational. Okay? It is rational. And we already know, so I'll go to the next page. We already know that root 2 is irrational. Okay, we already know that root 2 is irrational and that now we have proved that 2a plus b over b is rational. And we already know that root 2 is rational. Then what's next now? We should know that irrational, irrational can never be equal to rational. Okay. Rational can never be equal to rational. Therefore, 1 plus root 2 divided by 2 is irrational. Hence, proved by contradiction. Contradiction. Diction here should be like this. That's all. So that's that's the basic idea behind uh, irrational numbers. Now, if you have gotten this concept, I want you guys to go ahead and look at this question. I want you to, given that root 2 is irrational, prove that 1 plus root 2 is also irrational. If you have gotten that, go ahead and prove this. You can send the answer in the comment section. Okay? Go ahead and prove this. You can send the answer in the comment section and I'll be able to see it. So that's the basic idea behind uh, irrational numbers. Okay?